wants to help raise up money for the for diabetes type one to be specific, and so they are doing events like this to help raise money and to find a cure, which I really want. I don't know a world without diabetes. So this is our very first uh, JDRF Hope Gala, and we're here celebrating with all of our uh, community to help find a cure for this disease. So we've got uh, 140 silent auctions to bid on. We've got great opportunity drawings. Uh, we've got live auctions. Uh, we're gonna have a great program. We hope that uh, Gail Miller uh, from the Utah Jazz is here. A lot of a ton of great people from the business community are here. The gala is honoring the Huntsmans, so we will definitely be seeing them here tonight and we'll also be seeing the boy who got the very first bag of hope. Having type 1 diabetes is really scary. You never know if you'll wake up in the night um, or if you'll ever wake up in the morning. It's a, there's no vacations, there's no breaks. You're always going and going and going. You have to count every carb that you put into your mouth and make sure that you account for how you're feeling because even your mood can affect how your blood sugar is. It's never the same. It helps you know a little bit more about diabetes because other people do it in different ways. Like some people have pumps and some people have shocks. Some people have dextrams and some people have just poke themselves. It would be sad to feel like I'm the only one and I'm alone. So the JDRF helps a lot with that. If it weren't for the JDRF, I would probably know like almost nobody. I've met a couple friends who had diabetes outside of the JDRF, but it's mostly the JDRF's work. You can go to JDRF.org, you can find us, uh, go to our website and, uh, and volunteer, help us raise money, uh, and let's cure this disease.